Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's Glaze Official here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be uh, showing you how to do a nacho on low ping. So, in case you don't know what a nacho is, I'll show what it is on screen. Yeah. So, what is the purpose of the shot? Well, it's to throw up the goalkeeper because you're making like these kind of dribble movements, and then as soon as you shoot, you're going like this way. So the, the goalkeeper will follow you, but then you shoot and it goes like that way. So I'll show I'll show you. So so you're kind of just throwing off the goalkeeper in that sense. So this this is one of actually one of the most difficult shots to do in TPS Ultimate Soccer. The reason being is because of timing. And when you have really high ping, like for example, 150 ping, it's really easy to do because of the input delay. But in this case, if you have like 30 to 50 ping, it's like so much harder to do but in this tutorial i'll be covering that so as you can see if i go to performance stats i have around 30 to 40 ping so i'll just quickly go step by step on how to do the shot but the controls are basically pass x pass c shoot release the reason why you would do pass x is because it makes it easier to react so this is how it looks like like that you won't get it perfectly the first time it's all about timing like i said so yeah neither can i get it all perfectly the first time so yeah i'm just gonna be going step by step on how to do the shot so so what you want to do first as you hit every single input you want to change direction so as soon as you hit pass x you're gonna start going left you're gonna follow the ball basically and once you do that once you hit pass c you want to change directions immediately so this is what it looks like just like that and then once you do that pass c you don't want to shoot immediately otherwise the react is going to break so if you're just spamming everything just what it's going to look like see it's not the thing works out like i said it's all about timing so you want to leave some like time before you go on through each input so so just like this and then you also want to leave some time be between the inputs passy and shoot release. So if you combine these all together, that's what it looks like. Just like that. So if you practice and manage to get the shot perfectly, it can be really useful for doing different types of combo shots and especially dribbling shots. Yeah, so that's how it looks like when you do like different types of combo. So as soon as you master this, you could do like basically anything. Let your imagination take control or something. I don't know, but um, yeah, that's how to do a nacho. Um, but this could also be used for like scaling, for example, like this. For example, like this. But yeah, those are just many ways to do it. And if you don't want to include the pass X, it's much harder, but it looks something like this. So what you do here basically is you gotta like hit it at the very edge here. As soon as you press C, you gotta change directions immediately and then just shoot. So yeah, I hope this uh, tutorial covers um, how to do nacho on 30 to 50 ping. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about this shot, just let me know and I'll answer in probably like between one minute and an hour um, because I always check my comments as you guys can see every single other video i read all of your comments uh, but if you guys also have another video suggestion like a dribbling tutorial a shooting tutorial anything like that just let me know uh so yeah hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to our notifications with that being said hope you guys have a wonderful day and peace out